Hi, at Cricket Center, we're going to bounce you a few statistics. Well, talking about bounce, India has had a problem. The extra bit of bounce that they've been facing at Australia during the tri series for one. Well, obviously, Indian batsmen have been stifled with their inability to strike through the line of the ball. The extra bounce has forced them to be on the back foot. And they're not pulling out the horizontal bat shots. Too many boundaries have not flown their way. It puts a lot of pressure because the Indian batsmen love the boundaries and the sixes. Which means they have not thought about one thing that's really important to keep the scoreboard ticking, which happens with picking singles. So early on, if you are going to allow the bowling to be about back of the length and you're not able to pull out the square of the wicket shots and your inability to put out these little singles, nudges towards point and cover hasn't happened. Obviously, the pressure gets onto you, and when the bouncer that's been thrown at you, you're leaving your flow altogether and looking to pull. So, more errors, as you can see, have flown India's way. Most of the top order batsmen have fallen to this back of a length and also the bouncers, as we have seen earlier. So, let's move along and see what else that India needs to do. Perhaps most of the teams have made sure that the top bowlers haven't bowled enough. And that, for one, Australia in particular, coming out of the test series, their top bowlers, only Mitchell Stark is playing in the tri series. And look at the number of bowlers the Australians have done and compare to the Indians, we have literally flogged them like the horses. So, do we need to give them a break? Do we need to bring in Dawal Kulkarni and Mohit Sharma? And I think that's the way to go. So, make sure that we are remaining a little fresh. It's just not about Dhoni saying we need to be fresh for the World Cup.